What's up everybody? This is Easy Street Gaming bringing you another Brutal Age video. This one is an, on how to fish. This is on one of the most popular questions that I get, especially from people on new servers when they first start playing. Let's start right from the beginning. You you find the fish in these ponds or lakes. They they look like little fish when you're up close, but if you back up the screen out to where all the resources look like little icons of of like the meat or whatever, then uh, you'll see little uh, white icons inside the ponds. Those are going to be the fish. So click on them twice, and uh, you'll you'll zoom in on them. If you'll get the bait through your daily achievements or the daily events, but you can also buy them right there in the fishing interface. If you don't have any, you can get three uh, per day. Uh, they cost 150 gems a piece, so they're pretty expensive. Now, there's a few things that you want to know about the interface before you get started. And one of them a lot of people miss because you don't see it when you first start. Now, first things are the are the actual casting bar and the in the reel. You see that when you first start. But what you don't see is the tension bar. I kind of just colored that in. That's not there right now. Uh, the tension bar is what everyone misses, and that's actually a big part of the casting and in the, in the reeling. Now, when you cast, you want to hold your finger down or hit the left button and the mouse down until the tip of the rod hits the middle of that bar. You're trying to get a 30, that's a perfect cast. Now, as soon as you start reeling, you'll see a, a, a different bar pop up and it's going from green to red. That's the tension bar. That's what a lot of people miss. They don't even see it because they're so busy looking at the at the reel. As you're, as you're reeling in, that tension bar is, is getting more and more tense. And if you get into the red, you have to stop reeling and it will go back down and then you can continue reeling again. Uh, a, a good... Um, a good theory that most people use at first is it's you'll reel in real fast you'll stop as soon as you see the size of the screen turn red and then uh, as soon as you stop reeling the tension will go all the way out of the out of the rod and then you can start reeling again if you if you latch onto a onto something really good something real big it's gonna be really hard to reel it in so you have to reel real fast and then you have to stop when the tension bar gets up there so you have to kind of balance your way in the middle of this tension bar And you'll see how I how I did that there. I, I stopped a couple times. Uh, you know, I, I'd reel in, I'd stop. I'd reel in, I'd stop. Now I got a couple different things. I'm going to show you what I got. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of cool things you can get from the fishing area. Uh, the last thing I got was uh, a newer item. It's called a shell. You can also get a heavy shell. Uh, there's even a third thing you can get that I. I you, everyone knows I suck. I don't remember anything. So uh, something. There's something else you can get. <laughs> Um, this is the donation. This is the fish market screen. This shows you everything that you've got and in, in a certain time period I think they reset every so often seven days or something like that Now I think one of the most valuable things you can get readily is the it's 7,000 times 7 I believe it is of soul. That's what you upgrade your heroes with it takes two catfish in one uh, pike to do that so Save up those. Don't just cash in the catfish and the pike right away. Save up until you get two and one, and then exchange those, and, and you'll get the re the rewards for that. Also, if you see the the bottom uh, at the bottom of the screen it says donate. Whenever you catch something that uh, you, you'll catch like perch or you'll catch smaller fish, you'll catch uh, household trash is another one. You want to donate that to the clan, and once you donate that to the clan, you'll actually get clan coins for it. So, and your clan will actually get a bunch of other benefits for it. So you want you want to cash all that in. Now you'll see I've, I've got a couple of shells here. Um, on the left, that's the soul you get. On the right, that is, uh, it's called a shard. It's called the, the, the catfish fighter shard. You get a hundred of those and you get a hero for it. So you want to keep on you want to keep on getting those shards as much as you can. You you'll cash them in for these catfish fighters. Here's a here's a good example of what the catfish fighter looks like. This is the best this is the best one. It's the green catfish fighter. Um, I'm, the next video I have coming out is actually on the catfish fighter. He's got a, a really unique ability and he's actually a really big asset if you know how to use them and you know how to uh, what heroes to use them with. So the the fishing interface is more than just catching fish and and. and cashing in for rewards now you can get a lot of stuff from it you get the whale uh, war pattern you get the catfish fighter so it's a lot of stuff you can get from the from the fishing interface uh, a couple tips I want I want to share first try to locate the rare fishing holes now you can get regular fishing holes as well but get the rare fishing holes that's where you'll get the heavy shell try to carry at least five normal bait with you because if you catch on if you latch on to a 
to something big, you might lose it. But if you have at least two more bait, they'll allow you to, to spend two more bait to, to reel it in all the way. Donate the fish as soon as possible because your clan gets rewards and it only lasts for a certain amount of time. And then uh, make sure you save the, the catfish and the pike combo and cash those in for the soul. Hope you liked the video. Hope this explains it a little bit. I know a lot of people ask about it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. It's on the catfish fighter. So uh, sub to the channel, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, it's been easy. Yeah.